The issue of sexual misconduct by coaches has haunted USA Gymnastics for decades. But an Indy Star investigation found that organization's own policies enabled predatory coaches to continue working with children, despite warning signs about the coach's conduct. USA Gymnastics' approach also may have broken laws that require people to report suspected child abuse to authorities. USA Gymnastics defends those policies, and they insist they're doing enough to protect children. But former gymnasts and their families disagree. The first warning USA Gymnastics received about William McCabe came in 1998. Three more would follow in the next year. But McCabe continued coaching with USA Gymnastics' stamp of approval for nearly eight more years. He was arrested in 2006 in Georgia and was charged with molesting gymnasts as young as fifth or sixth grade. He also secretly videotaped young girls changing clothes, including Lisa Ganser's preteen daughter. She's still my quiet daughter who doesn't trust people. And she knows now that the images, the video he took of her, they can come back on any pedophile's computer anywhere. USAG failed at this. USA Gymnastics had enough information, I think, to have done something about this. It didn't have to happen to my daughter and it didn't have to happen to other little girls. It did happen to Becca Seaborn. She was molested by coach Mark Schiefelbein. It wasn't until his trial that Becca's parents found out that USA Gymnastics had a thick file of earlier complaints. It was a file about three inches thick. And in the DA's office, they were shocked. Yeah, they really were. They couldn't believe it. Our daughter now is 26 years old. This happened when she was 10 and 11. And for it still to be where it's at and for them not to have changed anything, it just makes me sick that this is still happening, that these children are not being protected. And it's just not fair. The Olympics are going to start. These kids are going to want to go jump to gyms and you know, be just like these, these heroes they see on TV. And it just starts all over again. And it just, it just makes me really sad. USA Gymnastics had also received complaints about Coach James Bell. They came years before he was arrested in Rhode Island for molesting three young gymnasts. Yet he kept coaching. I was in fourth grade. My mom asked me, Hey, did, you know, did Jim ever touch you in, in your private parts? You know, I remember it like it was yesterday. And then, you know, going through and having the cops come in and question me. And like a lot of people think like, oh, you know, you probably just didn't say anything because you didn't, you were embarrassed or, you know, you didn't want anybody to get in trouble or anything like that. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. A year after USA Gymnastics named Marvin Sharp its 2010 Women's Coach of the Year, the organization received a troubling report. It detailed allegations of Sharp's inappropriate conduct with underage gymnasts. But USA Gymnastics did not tell authorities about the report until four years later when another victim came forward. Sharp continued coaching until his arrest in 2015. Over a 10-year period, USA Gymnastics compiled sexual misconduct complaints on 54 coaches. They refused to release those files. Indy Star has asked a judge to make the records public. USA Gymnastics said it follows child abuse reporting laws, but also needs first-hand information to move forward on complaints. President Steve Penny issued a written statement. USA Gymnastics has a long and proactive history of developing policy to protect its athletes and will remain diligent in evaluating new and best practices which should be implemented. We recognize our leadership role is important and remain committed to working with the entire gymnastics community and other important partners to promote a safe and fun environment for children. Any corporation that puts their reputation above safety, <laughs> honestly, this is something that I would be, want to be a part of <laughs> at all. And I was part of USA Gymnastics for a very long time. It doesn't matter who you're protecting, it doesn't matter that they're part of your organization and you want to save face. How about saving me?